Hey Scorpios and welcome to my channel. I'm doing your June 2019 12 Zodiac compatibility read for the month. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Scorpios. Um, so we will get started right away. I will tip you down here. All right, Scorpios. Your guys' energy is the Four of Swords. Clarified with the Queen of Pentacles. All right. So, Scorpios, you guys are in a time of silence, really um, learning what it means to nurture yourself, take care of your own needs once, um, and putting yourself first for once instead of everybody else. You have been investing in a relationship, uh, and it's needing now to take a break and rest from some just taking a rest from the world. If you are a Scorpio dealing with an Aries, the love between the two of you is undeniable. Um, they are choosing you. They want to be with you. Um, they will wait for you to get through this time of healing. You could have just come out of a relationship where you need to heal that broken heart so you can move forward with the truth and um, be ready to nurture another relationship and uh, contribute to a healthy relationship with this Aries. By the end of June, the two of you will be together. Um, this person is also going to help you heal. This person is a very strong healer. Um, so don't be afraid to let them in. It is safe for the two of you to move forward. If you are a Scorpio dealing with a Taurus, they could be going within at the moment. They are taking a step back from the world while you are resting. They are finding the healing within their own self. You see the star is inside that lantern. So they, uh, the two of you could have hurt each other or you're both coming out of uh, bad relationships, but you're both in a time of silence. When you both come out of this, you will be able to begin a relationship together together. Um, I don't see this happening, though, until the end of August, Scorpio. But when it does, it will be successful. If you are a Scorpio dealing with a Gemini, Gemini is taken off. They are ready to move forward. They are leaving this connection. Um, this Them leaving this relationship um, is going to send you into um, some emotional heartache. It's going to take some rest, relaxation, and rejuvenation to get your mind, body, and soul back um, in order to be able to, uh, you know, fully, fully heal. Um, you're going to have to take the time to uh, really work on your own feelings, your own heart, the, the situation that you're dealing with, instead of helping everybody else, it's time to help your own heart heal because they are leaving. Um, probably the third week of June when it turns to cancer season. All right. Cancers. Oh my gosh. Is this for a car? Man, you guys got a lot of relationships with a lot of big changes. So if you are a Scorpio dealing with a cancer, hello, let's take this leap together. A new beginning. Um, this person has a lot of faith in you, has a lot of faith in the connection and a lot of faith in the future. Um, they understand that you are, have gone through a lot. They understand that you need time to heal, but they are here and ready. And the two of you are taking this leap together. Um, you could be taking the leap by buying a home together, getting a home together. Um, this is going to be very successful, especially in the month of June. You're going to see big strides um, in this relationship getting stronger, um, closer, and and just more to a place where you are hoping it would be. So very successful in June with a cancer. If you're a Scorpio dealing with a Leo, your Leo is at a crossroads at the moment, not sure which direction they're headed. Um, they do know that wherever they go, they're going to take over the, they're going to conquer the world. They're going to do big things. This, um, Leo, they want you to come with them, but they're waiting for you to answer. You're in this time of silence at the moment, um, taking a step back and just reevaluating your life and where you want to invest your time. They're waiting for you to answer them. Are you going to, are you going to, conquer this world with me or am I going to have to do it alone? I do see the two of you coming together towards the end of June, um, more towards the time of Leo, however, but this is um, going to be a beautiful connection, Scorpio. So don't fear it. I'm seeing fear within this. Um, they could want you to travel, want you to, you know, venture out and do new things. Go for it. It's going to be great for you. If you are a uh, Virgo, you are 
dealing with someone who has their guard up. Um, the two of you could have uh, had quite the battle royale um, with your words. They feel like they were doing all the work. Um, they could have said some things that caused you a lot of heartache. Words hurt. It ain't no joke. And you're feeling very hurt right now. Um, you're taking a step back from them, deciding if if they are what you want in the future. They're standing there like, oops, maybe I shouldn't have said that. Um, they are going to want this to continue. So it is ultimately going to be in your core for this the, ugh, this group of Scorpios. I do see this um, continuing on through the month of June. Um, and you guys really getting over this little hurdle that you've had to um, jump. If you are dealing with a Libra, they have secrets that are coming out. Things are being illuminated um, of what they have done in the dark. Things that um, you were unaware of, and that's causing you this heartache and the need for healing. Um, you are leaving this person in the month of June, and you're just going to focus on yourself and getting yourself back to good, Scorpio. This person, um, they betrayed you in a way that you can't forgive is what I'm hearing. All right, if you are a, but I am hearing that you already know about these secrets. These just came out like within the last four days um, or it will in the next, or, no, they're saying it already happened in the last four days. Um, so in the month of June, you're going to decide that it's just too much. You have to heal from this on your own. If you are a Scorpio dealing with a Scorpio, um, pick whichever side resonates with you, but one of you is using everything that they have learned along the way to try to manifest a new beginning with, with you or vice versa. Um, this person, be cautious of them. However, they may be using trickery to try to get you to believe something that didn't happen like gaslighting or because the magician, their, their job is to fool people's reality, to make them believe something that isn't happening. So um, be cautious when um, dealing with another Scorpio uh, because it could cause you a lot more pain than what it's worth. Um, for this group of you, I do see you holding out, trying to figure out what this person's intentions are um, in the month of June. You guys will continue to see each other, but it will not be um, exclusive or serious uh, because you're just not quite ready for that. And I would watch their intentions. All right, if you are a Scorpio dealing with a Sagittarius, the two of you are working together, working hard to build a, a base, a solid foundation to, uh, to move forward on. You could be, be creating a company together, creating a product, um, but if it's not within the workforce, um, you guys are building something within the home, building your uh, connection to spirit stronger. Um, this is a very uh, spiritual connection you're going to realize their worth, what they mean to you in this time of taking a break from the relationship. Um, I don't see a third party here. However, I see that they are very dedicated to their job, their work, and um, and neglecting the relationship. You will forgive them and give this another chance and nurture this relationship back to health. All right, if you're a Scorpio dealing with a Capricorn, this person is finally... Um, Letting their intuition lead the way. They're listening to their inner voice, their inner guide. They have worked very hard to balance their own life out. Their light, their dark, their shadow, their light. Um, this person is a divine connection to you. Um, there was some hurt in the past. They could have went. They could have picked somebody else in the past. <coughs> Excuse me. And that really hurt you. It really caused you to have to. Um, Mend, mend your your broken heart, your broken soul. Um, they are seeing the error and what had and what their choice was. Um, they are going to come forward to you and apologize. They do have regrets about um, the way things happened, the way things went down. It is going to help you get through that healing process a little quicker and get into reunion a little faster. In the month of June, I do see the two of you moving into a reunion. All right, Aquarius. Aquarius is coming in fast and they're delivering a. Uh, truth to you that's going to create a need for this healing. Um, you could have hurt an Aquarius Scorpio in the past and they're coming forward not holding any bars back. Um, they are letting it all loose, letting you have it. You're going to take a step back. Um, I do see this ending in the month of June. Um, if you didn't hurt them, Scorpio, they're coming in delivering some truth to you that you don't want to hear that's going to hurt and um, cause this need for um, healing. I do see this relationship um, 
ending and you becoming single, Scorpio. But by your choice, you're the one choosing not to uh, take this person back. You're going to choose on focusing on yourself and your family, your children, grandchildren, you know, nieces, nephews, wh whoever that family is to you. You're going to concentrate on them and kind of put love on the back seat in the back seat for now. If you are a Scorpio dealing with a Pisces, this is fresh, this is new, this is cute, this is messages back and forth. Um, this is them being very passionate with you. This is a new connection. You just met this person. They're going to help wake you up out of this sleep. They're going to uh, make you remember what love feels like, what new love, innocent love feels like. Um, it's going to allow you to gain this youthful spirit again to capture that uh, love bug feeling. This is this is very um, intense, uh, like passionately. Um, in the month of June, I see this actually uh, going into a committed relationship. I do see you meeting them in June. You have not met this person yet. Um, they're going to wake you up out of the slumber and they're going to make you want to um, nurture this connection, build a home with this person and uh, make all your wishes come true. All right, Pisces, that is your 12 Zodiac read. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a beautiful month of June. I'll see you next time. God bless.